Hey everyone, welcome back to a daily deal. Sorry, it's been a while since I've been back into the shop tax season. Yay, we just love taxes. <laughs> Anywho, so I'm back in the shop. I have like a lineup of different daily deals going on here very soon. So be prepared. Today's daily deal is going to be a really cool one as well. It's going to be like two different options kind of daily deal. Um, I know that after this daily deal, we do have the oriental fabric packs, I think. Wait, those are already in the shop. So I did add eight oriental fabric packs in the shop. So take a peek down below is my shop link. So um, check those out. Also, I, I added some oriental fabrics uh, that I have left over from yardage. Believe it or not, that list that you guys, uh, those who were on for Oriental Fabric Bundles, uh, you guys pretty much got the first of everything. What I have in a shop is different than what you guys got in the first pack, so you might wanna take a peek just in case. Um, and then over there in a the corner, which I didn't tell you guys yet until now, but surprise, I just got in the fabric yardage of the vintage um, India, um, Oh, what would I call it? It would be the um, jaggered uh, oh, brocade, you know, pretty wide fabric in the yardage. It came in a big long roll tubes. Um, I'm so excited about that one. It's pretty wide. Um, I'm probably gonna put those into packs and whatever's left over will be yardage in the shop in case you just want one type kind of fabric. Um, but the daily deals over there on that table and it's just saying, take me. <laughs> Literally, um, I already have them packaged up. They're shipping out today. For those who get them today, they ship out today. You do have options, which I can't wait to share with you guys. So again, affordable prices. I also took in mind shipping costs and everything. So I'll explain that once I put the camera down here and show you guys what I got going on. I can't wait, I <laughs> can't wait. All right, so hold on, here I come. Okay, I am back. I hope the lighting's okay. I think these books are kind of hiding some of my lighting. There they are. We have book choices. I got these beautiful uh, book series. Um, it's called the uh, Young Children's Encyclopedias. They almost remind me of the My House books, the size and everything, except they are uh, an encyclopedia. So I have a series here, um, and this is what they look like. I think this one's book two. So I will go ahead at the end and show you book one, book two, book three. You get to choose your book. You'll get the entire book. Pretty much they're encyclopedias. Um, I can get the year, but what's cool about them, they're going to hit a lot of the themes you guys have in your guys' kits that you put together. Like there's beach, there's travel. I know that there's garden in here. There's pretty much children, uh, Botanical books, pretty much. This one here is about the bees and birds and butterflies. Like, here's the bird pages. It just passed them. I know I'm going pretty fast here. I know it also has a great section in the bees as well. Let me scroll through here. Go a little slow. So here is the butterflies, birds, bees. Look like all of them touch base with so many different kinds. So I'll go through the books later, but these are two different options in the daily deal. So I'm gonna go with this one here, which is the beginning of what I just started. For those who want more paper, like into their pack, this is option one. Those who are looking for more of the fabrics, this is option two, which I will do later. So let's start with the first one here on the daily deal. The daily deal, you get everything you see here for $19.50. This is larger than a junk journal kit. This, this pack is so heavy that I was worried about shipping. So I'm not worried too much only because I can put this entire pack in a medium, let's see here, not medium, I'm sorry, a flat rate bubbled envelope. So the shipping for any of these daily deals could be a flat rate in the US. Um, if you get more than one pack, of course, the shipping will be combined and it will be cheaper. The more you buy, the more you save kind of thing. But the flat rate envelope is around 750-ish to ship, but it is worth it. Wait until you see everything that you get into these packs. This pack, just the paper packs alone are identical to not far as the pages, but as far as the theme, I don't know if you call it theme, it's a variety. I made sure this pack had a bit of everything. It's pretty much 
uh, vintage child education, um, garden. Um, so there is 200 pages or more per pack, nothing under 200. I, I kind of divided them up equally and each section has the tabs that I put together with the paper clips. So as you can see here, which these are gonna be awesome for this, which is the quilted piece here that is 10 and a half by 14 and a half. This was a vintage wedding ring style um, quilt. It's like shabby, so there will be some loose uh, fabric, which you guys, I know a lot of you guys like that shabby look, and it's the fabrics are just gorgeous. Look at those pieces. No matter what, those pieces are just beautiful. So I figured that would be an awesome journal. Each pack will have, um, if you guys are following me on Facebook, you'll see I had a picture up, but I have the whole alphabet that is cross-stitched like this, and each pack will get one. I put A in this example of, um, but it has A, B, C, D, E, F, G. It has all kinds of different, obviously, letters and pictures like birds, butterflies. I see a zebra, Z for zebra kind of thing. So each one would get that. That's like five by five. I left room on a border in case you want to stitch it down. Say, hey, you want to stitch it down on this and cut off the fabric around it kind of thing. I'm not sure. You guys will figure it out. I just thought it all went really well together. I hope I'm in frame here. I think I am. So this pack, of course, I could see cottage chic. I could see children. I can see retro. Therefore, it's just so many. Um, and of course, you get to choose your book. Um, and so what's awesome about it, like this here is like over a pound just in papers. For those who want to stack up, you know, stash up on their papers, um, this is a perfect pack for you guys. So the first thing you'll see, which the first three packs have these three cards paper clipped in the tabs. And by the way, I just love the tabs. I made sure that not one was the same in each pack which I'm wrong there because I just added that. I'll add a different tab color for that one. But um, my goal was to give you guys a variety of tabs, which like I said, would be perfect if you do a journal and you got these tabs, these different color tabs inside your journal um, in your pages kind of thing. I don't know. I was just thinking as I was packing it together what you could possibly do. But you'll see these three cards. Each pack will get three of these cards. And the card theme, it is by the Edu Cards. Here's the back. And they have, um, of course, it's a uh, Red Riding Hood, Jack and a Beanstalk, and it looks like Puss in Boots. I'm saying that right. And they're adorable children theme cards. Each pack, like I said, will have three. I only have 11 packs like this. But the option two, I have 19, so don't you worry. So everyone will get in the first tab here. I'm going to try to make this fast so I can get this all together. Came from a vintage reader's book. Um, it's going to have pages just like this. I forgot what's the name of the reader, but it's those reader pages. I know you guys are really highly sought after. And I wanted at least every pack to have at least five, and there is seven in each one of these packs. So... Look at those pages. You cannot go wrong. Again, that's why I only made 11 packs. I did not want to go lightly on the options. I needed to hurry this up because we got a lot of pages. So yeah, there's over 200 pages. Most of these tabs, there's 25 book pages in each. How awesome is that? I've never done a kit that way. Put this in here so I don't lose it. This one here came from, okay, I'm gonna try and think maybe the name's at the top. I think it's Geometry, and but the pages were gorgeous. Let me get this tab off. Look at these pages. So there's 25 book pages in this. And if I could kind of skim through to show you, you got Algebra, Geometry, and then a lot of really nice um, pages as well like they're mostly black and white but it's fun I love how they have the educational type angles and things like that so there you have that I know there's more pages in here that are 
black and white, 25 pages of that. The next one is going to be 25 pages of this. It was adorable. You guys know me. I love my dictionary books, especially my picture dictionary books. Um, and I like putting them in packs. And this is a smaller one, which I fell in love with. Look at this. This one here is like cross stitch tab. Isn't that cute? Each tab is two and a half by two and a half inch. And then you'll get 25 dictionary book pages. You put pictures and everything in there for you. Which you don't have to copy dyed because it's already old looking. The next one is another children's reader. Each pack will get 25 book pages from, I'm trying to think if I know the name of the book, but the picture colors were adorable. I love the fact that I can give you guys 25 pages from each one of those books. A lot of the kits I make, I only could maybe put one or two book pages per book, but um, this one here, I got to be able to do 25, which gives you guys, look at that. Isn't that awesome? So yeah, I would say this is education or learning type of, of book. Here we go. Got pictures, we got colorful pictures at the tops and bottoms as well. Almost like Dick and Jane, but this one here is school. Math, obviously. You can see the tables and things like that. But in here you can see there's more, also more different colorful pages, but a lot of pages, 25. That's crazy. I love the fact I can give you guys a large selection and not a small one to two page kind of selection. So there you have it. It's a pretty good amount. And you get that cute little tab I put together for you guys. But still, you can't beat it. 19 bucks, you got enough pages here to last you a crazy lot of time. And you got an, a, a full book as well. A junk journal cover that is quilted and embroidery. Well, I should say cross stitch. But this one here came to, oh, this one was really cool. It's about the modern woman um, and how a job kind of thing. And this one here is about, oh yeah, finance department, how to write a check and things like that. It's so cool. So look at that cash register, isn't that cool? But it has awesome like examples of how to do your records, how to do math. There's so many things in here. 25 pages and a lot of pieces to work with in your guys' you know, this one looks like it's about checks. Look at there. I forgot to get to show you guys the other sides as well. But yeah, so it has all kinds of different records, how to do it, how to do checks. And that cool. I think it's cool. Okay, so 25 pages from that book. Let's see here. And then this next one here also is Analytics of Accounting. Am I saying that wrong? But what I fell in love was the ledger paper. Okay, I had that upside down. I think I do. But look, you get 25 pages, different typewriter type pages. Look at this. It's no matter what, each page is, seems like it's got beautiful things you can work with. And there's 25, look it, 25 pages. You're gonna be stopped for a while. <laughs> Definitely for a while. So different like ledger, typewriter type pages and things like that. That's a cool one. Where am I at? Ooh, I better hurry. Um, and then the next pack is dictionary pages. I've never seen a dictionary book like this. Uh, it has like pictures, but it also has this yellow tab down the middle, which was totally different. Look at this. You get 25 pages. This one obviously starts with the A's. But look at that. If you put it in half, it'd be perfect. Isn't that awesome or what? So 25 pages of a lot of beautiful book pages in the dictionary. 
with pictures and color. A lot of the dic vintage dictionary pages do not have color. And then this one here came from, it's called the uh, National, oh, where's that book? It's a huge um, encyclopedia. And in it, the book pages are pretty good and large. No matter which book page, it was colorful, it was matte, it wasn't a shiny at all, as you can see in the photo, in the, the camera. And it has so much to work with, especially to fold those papers in half. I would have used these in my kits if I'm making a kit for like, say, travel. Um, just beautiful. Boho, if you wanted to, you got some maps in there. Each pack has 25 of these. A whole lot. We got you got beach travel, nautical kind of thing, world. Look at the good maps and things like that. Anyways, I have a whole lot in there and it's packed. My favorite part of all is at the end. Each pack is gonna get a full booklet, a vintage booklet of this. I can show you the other booklets as well. You get the entire booklet. It's this one here is butterflies and crochet. It is the Clarks. I think they're all Clarks. Yep. So it looks like most of them are all Clark books. And I did not rip them. You get the complete book. And it will be filled with so many beautiful pages that you can use for your projects. But look at it. My gosh. I couldn't take myself to a uh, rip it. So I figured you guys might want the complete books. And you can figure out what you want to do with it. But can you beat it? 19 bucks, a complete book and everything. And it fits in a flat rate. But look at that. Just that itself. And then I ripped pages from... Let's see here. What's the name of the book? This one here. The Mother Goose book. And that is this one here. It's a rather large one. I love about it. Again, you can fold it in half. For your signatures this totally reminds me of child craft pages it's a matte finish as well this one here came from i'm not sure which book oh this one here so cool the mother goose book here this one here is i think this one is france or something i still have leftover pages in that pack and i picked a little miss muffet <laughs> because obviously that is my mom's maiden name it's my little Miss Muffet. That's what I call my grandma, Grandma Muffet. You see, sing that song to her. And then I got three, pa four pages here, but they're the full pages from these really awesome. Let me take one of these away. The uh, what do you call those books? Here they are. So the books here. If anyone wants these covers, let me know. I'll throw them in your packs. First come, first serve. The World Books. You guys remember the World Books? And then the Learn How book. And then the the uh, Lookies. Am I saying it right? Book. Learning books that um, I guess kids send out for them kind of thing. Almost like Scholastics. And I, I each pack will have a full page. And this is the look -see book. It's different educational type of books. That's the name, you know, pretty much the style of this pack that I put together. This one here is June. Different learning pages. Children retro. This one here is of April. Those who are doing clown journals. And this one is of May. The World Encyclopedia one. But it has beautiful you know, learning retro. And then in the end is from, I think, a Coates and Clark book. It's a how-to crochet uh, page. I, every pack will have a full page like that. So there you have it. Let me quickly show you guys the book and then I'll show you. Imagine I think here it's 19 minutes already. I think I can get away with quickly showing you guys the books. And then this is the entire pack here. And then you get to choose a book. This thing is heavy as heck and I'm glad it fits in a priority. <laughs> so glad. Um, all right. So the book choices you get are, here we are. From book one and they're pretty thick books here's book two the one I showed you book three book four 
Obviously, you can see what's on the cover is the ideas of what's going to be in the book. In the book, so um, you might want to write it down. Book five, if there's a certain theme. I know I'm doing this rather quick because I wanted to show you guys the other packs too. Book six. Book seven. So when you guys go to the listing, if you're new to this, the listing link to my shop is down below. Click on the listing for this. And then when you go to check this out, this is book eight. When you go to check out, you get to choose your book um, before you check out. This is book nine. No 10, so there's a book 11 though. Obviously you can see birds. Book 12. I'm so glad this fits in a priority flat rate. This is one heavy book, one of, what was it, I say book 12. Um, looks like then there's book 14. Make sure you write this down. Book 15. And book 16. All right, I hope you guys stay tuned. I got the uh, second pack. So let me move these guys over. Man, they are heavy, 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 heavy. Um, the second packs I have is gonna be a totally different listing. So for those who don't want paper per se, you want more towards the fabrics. Well, I brought out two of them to give you guys an example because one pack, some packs have the lacy doily some packs have the um, hankies. So when you buy your pack, just if you really want a hanky better than a doily, please message me. Um, obviously buy an order first and then message me. First come, first serve. They're about equal amounts. There's more hankies in packs than there are doilies, but I have also more doilies, so don't you worry. I could always switch something out. But um, so these are the packs you get here. I have a book, a gift, book of choice also. Um, is the gift that you get with it. Same price, these packs are the same price as the other packs, but I'm gonna rather quickly get through these and then I'll show you the books you can choose for this listing. Just heads up, there's a lot of ideal books in here. So I came across a bunch. I know Christmas is gone, but I came across the most beautiful vintage ideal books. Um, Rose books, looks like we have children's books. Um, so you get to choose your book in this pack is the gift with purchase, but these packs are adorable like I've done before. It's going to be my quilted packs with vintage quilting fabric. Um, you have chenille, you're going to have different feed sack, what have you. So let's dig right in. First thing you're going to see is that cute pen I put there for you guys. You'll get two vintage hankies. Hankies, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Taxes have really got my brain like gone, totally gone. I'm telling you, ah, taxes are not fun. Anywho, back to reality here. <laughs> Push that tax stuff aside. You get two uh, doilies here right at the top, which are penned in. In this pack, you'll get this long strip. Each person's, pa each pack is gonna be the same. You guys absolutely fell in love with that woven carrot fabric so I made sure it's like almost four inches wide and it's like 22 inches long a good amount of that it's adorable no matter which side you go it's adorable so each pack will have another one of those cross stitch squares from the alphabet this pack has the doily like I said some other packs like this pack here which I'll put it back because most packs are identical we'll have a vintage hanky like a complete hanky, full hanky, it's not cut at all. Each pack will have a piece, just like you see in the other packs I showed you, of the vintage wedding ring quilted hand stitch quilted piece for a junk journal cover, which is, again, beautiful fabrics. And here, each pack is gonna have a variety of different fabrics as well to really go with the colors and themes. Kind of chic-y, shabby, chic, um, you'll see. These are also junk journal cover size, which is 10 and a half by 14 and a half. I made sure all the prints were tiny prints for your guys' projects, if you're making tags, layering, what have you. I wanted the prints to be really tiny. Sorry, you guys, shove that in your face. Um, and uh, small for you guys. 
Um, some pieces of chenille. So, of course, we're going into the greens. Here's another junk journal cover size of the greens. If you want to cover or you want to use it to st your stash of fabrics, again, tiny design for you. Uh, it could be a liner for inside what you're doing. I'm into the blues now. This one is not a junk journal cover. I wish I had enough for everyone to do so. But look how tiny and durable the blue is. It's a 10 and a 10 by 10, I think, piece of that. You will get a junk journal cover size of the blue chenille, which is the basket weave. It's like adorable soft blue. Oh, I was so glad to do this. I had enough of this feed sack fabric to give everyone a junk journal cover size in case you wanted to do a retro uh, kitchen themed. Look at this. Doesn't that look familiar? I did this in my little fabric packs for you guys, but it's eight, it's 14 and a half by 10 and a half. But look, you have so much to work with either in a cover or cut them out, you know? Beautiful. Each pack will have a scrap piece of that same quilt in case you want for pockets and stuff inside your project. And then last, you'll have a junk journal cover size, which is like snowy white basket weave. I know the lighting. Sorry, guys. Uh, it's those books right there. They keep taking my like. Move. Um, so, yeah. There you have it. The packs all are the same price. The gift with purchase is to choose a book. So, you cannot beat that price, guys. You're getting a whole bunch of stuff. And again, it fits in that uh, bubbled priority ra uh, flat rate price. And what's cool about that is that if you buy more than one, that, like I said, shipping is cheaper. So there is that adorable pack for you guys. And the books you get to choose before my timer runs out. Sounds like I'm in a fast forward speed here. You get to choose either one of these books. So when you go to the listing in the Etsy shop, click the drop down menu and pick the names of the titles you like. There's Puts and Puss and Puss and Boots. My mouth, I'm telling you today. This is newer, it's not an older one, but the colors are just beautiful. I was in love with this book. And then the second one here too is the Tale of Squirrel Nutkin. Again, if you're doing working on the garden theme, this works perfectly. What I love about these books, they're lightweight and they fit in that priority flat rate. This one's older. It's Read Along With Me, The Three Little Kittens. Look at this. Whoever gets this one, I know this one's gonna be a quick taker. A whole book about roses. This is a really cool one. Lots of beautiful garden pages about roses. It's a beautiful book little on the shinier side, but it's got a lot of garden pages in it. But these, oh my gosh, look at these books. Idea Christmas books. So no matter which one you get, they're adorable. It has the vintage retro children, Christmas. For those who don't know Idea books, they are loaded with beautiful pictures, map pictures. I know this is Christmas thing, but some of it you can get away with it not being Christmas. They have birds in here as well. Look at the puppy dogs. Oh my God. I don't need another puppy dog. <laughs> Here's another one. Now, if you do get a kit and you do get the idea books, well, just message me. I know I did not label these one, two, or three or anything, but there's, I'm going to show you the covers here in a minute. Look at that. Oh my God. Maybe I should label these here in a minute. What's my time? Oh wow. I got two minutes. Okay, so let me quickly go ahead and label these ideal books here really quick. Press pause. Okay, this is idea book one. This is idea book two. That's the one with the children I just showed you guys last year, the birds and the children. Oh wow, that is so cute. This is idea book three. I'll quickly flip through. No matter what idea book, you guys are going to be happy. Idea book four. Sorry, guys. I'm like, I'm fast forward here. All right. Let me pause for a second. Okay. Here's idea book number five. Idea book number six. Sorry, guys. I'm going fast. 
book seven. See, pretty much the same thing, guys. Eight, same thing. And then I have a Thanksgiving one. And then I have this beautiful book here by, uh, it's Fables. Look at the cover, adorable. And it's got the most beautiful pages. So there you have it. That'll be the last one, guys. Have a good day, guys. Sorry my timer ran out. Bye.